what is up guys welcome to my another video and today we are with this beautiful 240z on the crew uh this car was released like a week ago i think it was um and i'm just gonna go ahead and customize it i'm a bit late I am aware of this, don't worry, I'm aware of this. So if we go ahead and go to the performance uh, upgrade area, we'll go ahead and, you know, upgrade this into a perf car because it's one of the few Japanese icons in the game. So, you know, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are. We have obviously all the options. We're going to go ahead and put it to level 40 because I am a baller and I can make it rain. So we go ahead and watch that transform into an absolute beast, uh, which is there. Not sure how I actually think, well I think of that actually to be honest. Uh, looks a bit odd, but um, we, obviously we can customise it so it's not an issue. So, colour. I know exactly what colour I want it to be. I want it to be blue. Is that the right blue? I don't know. If you guys watch Wang at Midnight, you'll know exactly what I'm going for here. If not, then you will not have a clue. I think that's more of the colour I'm going for, so we'll go ahead and purchase that. Um, stickers, again... Uh, Honestly, I, d I don't really want any stickers. I just want those fenders to be coloured in in black and then I'm fine <laughs> uh, So we'll, we'll miss out the stickers interior. I guess we can customize the interior. I mean at this point um, I'm only playing the crew up until uh, Need for Speed's launched and I'm not gonna play it much until the Wild Ring comes out. So uh, I don't know why I mentioned that at all to be honest. I'm trying to find a nice white interior um, I, do, I did like the wood. The wood was quite nice. Where's wood gone? Can I change that into a white steering wheel or nah? No, we can't. But what we can do is make it all white everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, front bumper. Now, this is where everything gets a bit more interesting. So we've got a, quite a few choices. And this is what I expected. Oh, my lordy lord. Damn that intercooler, though. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of choices, and I absolutely love this. Um, this is what I hope from the crew on day one, and I'm so glad they're actually giving it to us now. Uh, so we've obviously got the stock bumpers right at the end, um, but oh my lordy lord, those headlights look insane! I don't know what to choose, they look all so nice. I might pick this one. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I might, I might just keep the stock one on. I think that stock one looks pretty nice, minus the carbon fibre, but, you know, there's there's minimal carbon fibre on that one, so we'll just keep it at that. Um, next, we'll go on to the rear, and here, I kind of, I kind of want to make, what the frick? That is mad, it's straight in the middle. It's, ab that's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so let's go ahead and scroll through. So, uh, again, we come to the end ones, which are just normal ones. Uh, I did like the ones with the exhaust on the sides. Only if there were dual exhaust on the sides. Uh, and never mind, it's okay. We'll go ahead and put that one on. Front fenders, rear fenders, we can't usually do. Um, today's no exception. Uh, we're going to keep the carbon fibre on the side, just so it looks normal. If we didn't have that, it'd kind of look a bit weird and out of place. Um, rims, we'll keep that till last. Uh, for a wing, ooh... So we can either put a huge wing on, we can put a carbon fiber wing on, a black wing on, or keep that normal blue one. And I want a black one, so we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna put a black one on. Um, I don't know, it kind of goes with the theme of the car, considering most of the car is carbon fiber anyway. Um, and obviously for the hood, normal carbon fiber options, and the stock option, what's the stock option like? No, I'm not a big fan of that one, we'll, we'll, we'll change it to this one, I think. That looks a lot better, I think. Um... Rims, rims, that's what we want to do next. So we're going to go have a, a look at the official rims because I do know they, they there is some nice official rims on these, I believe. Wait, there's no official rims? Oh my fucking lord, there's so many rims to choose from. I don't know what to choose. Oh, what's that look like? See, that looks too conserved. I want it to look like an absolute beast. I think I already own the rims I want, so I'm going to go quickly jump to the safe house and actually uh, pick those up. But before, obviously, before we go do that, we're going to go ahead and add the performance parts in. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. Um, and then afterwards, I'll go ahead and go back to the HQ where we can put the rims I want on. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, guys. Okay, so we are now here. We can actually do secondary colours as well here, so we might as well see what it looks like. I've had an idea. No, that looks absolutely awful. What was I thinking? <laughs> okay, so with that being said, we'll go over to the rims now and go to vintage. I'm pretty sure I have the ones I'm thinking of. That does not look as nice as I thought it was going to look. But that kind of does. 
I think we found the perfect match. That gives it more of a modern look. I was kind of going for the retro look, but I like those rims. I like the dish it has. It gives it a really nice look. So we're going to go ahead and pick that. Um, is there anything else we need to do? Uh, I think we've done all the parts we need to. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and go into a race. Now, usually I would end these episodes on me just messing around, but I kind of want to go ahead and, and race this. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and gone into a, uh, a story mode race because I didn't really want to wait in a perf lobby for ages. Whoa! Um, and as you can tell by the levels, I am extremely high. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and race it. And so far, I can say that this handles surprisingly well. Now, again, can't compare it to the LaFerrari because we're not, we're not really facing any LaFerraris. But what I will say is that this thing is a lot grippier than I thought it was going to be. It does get its back end out, but it's a, it's a lot grippier in a very, very good way. Okay, let's see if we can get its back end out through this corner here. Ah, oh, that was not a good idea. Oh, no. Shit. So, is, is it a LaFerrari killer? I don't think so. I really, really don't. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm personally, I don't like the Laf I don't like using the LaFerrari. It is OP, and everyone uses it. I try to use something else, but I don't think this is the car to come up against the LaFerrari. Um, it is good. Don't get me wrong. I think I need to go in a PVP lobby and really decide. But is it, a, is it a uh, LaFerrari killer? I'm, I'm, I'm really not convinced yet. Okay, we're on a straight now. Let's see if we can max this out. Power, speed, and power! Whoa, that was close. I was almost going the wrong way. Now, honestly, the card doesn't buckle. Like, it, and that's a really good thing. And honestly, I don't know. I, I mix opinions. I need to race with it more. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. You guys have been awesome. Um, and yeah, peace.